What's up creators? Today I found a very cool tool that will create royalty free music using an AI algorithm. This means if you need a song for a YouTube video or would like to listen to a unique playlist on your Twitch live stream, this is the video for you. Check out this song I generated moments ago. Muba. All memes aside, this tool is very cool. I rhymed, but it's not a crime. I'm not trying. It just happens all the time. The song that you're hearing in the background of this video right now is a song I generated using the Mubert tool. I find it really, really interesting being able to create unique music using an AI so that every video that I have could have a unique track or something like that, or I could have a unique sound for all my videos, a specific song, a familiar song, something like that. But also they have tools for streamers that we'll get into later in this video. If you're looking for a playlist that will automatically generate unique songs based on a genre that you're interested in, you're definitely gonna wanna watch this video. With that being said, we're not gonna waste any time. Let's jump into it. For the most part, this tool is pretty self-explanatory. All you need to do is use the link in the description below and head over to mubert.com. That's M-U-B-E-R-T.com. From there, what you can do is generate a track by a genre, a mood, or a certain activity. After you select how you want to generate your track, you select the genre or mood or activity from the second drop down window and then you set the duration of the track. This is very useful if you're looking to fill a 45 second segment within your video and you need an upbeat unique track that's also royalty free. This is a fantastic tool to use. After you select the parameters, you just click generate track. It may take 10 to 30 seconds in order to generate a new track for you. You can download the track absolutely free without the watermark and it can be used in YouTube videos and for your Twitch live stream. This is the track that we just generated right here while I was recording this video. It's just a hip hop trap kind of track. When you go to download your songs that you generate on this platform, it will ask you to connect your channels so that they can remove it from copyright claims. So make sure you're adding your channels here prior to adding the song to your videos. After you add your channels, it will give you an example of how to attribute the platform. This is a good example right here, music generated by Mubert, and then it puts a link on how to do so. So you can copy this and put this into the video description on YouTube so that you can properly attribute this platform for the music that you're using in your videos. Now, if you don't wanna attribute the platform within your videos, you'll have to upgrade to the creator subscription, which is $14 a month. This will remove the requirement of attributing the platform for utilizing their music. However, throwing an attribution in a YouTube video description is fairly easy to do, and you get quite a lot of value out of doing so with this platform. One of the coolest features on Muber is the product they have for live streamers. If you click on their logo in the top left, it'll take you to their main page, and from there you can go to products, and from the products window, you can go to Mubert for streamers. This will take you to a new web page, which will have playlists, which I believe are AI generated playlists for certain genres that you're interested in. So if we take a look here, what you can do is snag a link to one of these playlists and add it to your OBS and use that as your music source for your live stream. So what you would do if we wanted calm ambient music is we'd copy this URL. Here in OBS, what we would do is click the plus button. We would go to browser. We'll add a music source and in the URL, we'll paste that URL that we got from Hubert. Then what you're gonna wanna do is toggle this control audio via OBS. This will give you audio controls in your audio sources window so that you can adjust the volume of that audio source and then go ahead and click OK. It does have a little player that pops up on the screen. All you need to do to get rid of it is move it out of the display window. But if you do want it displayed as part of your stream, you can just keep it in there and resize it and place it where you need. If you take a look down in the audio mixer now, you'll see the music Mubert source here. 
and that is just a radio station playing music at all the times through a browser source in your OBS uh, window. So if you wanted to hear this music yourself, what you could do is right click in the audio mixer, go to advanced audio properties. And then from there, what you would do for the uh, music source is select monitor and output. And then you can go ahead and close that and you should be able to monitor that while you're streaming if that's what you want to do. If you don't want to do that, you can just keep it on monitor off and it will just output that music to your live stream. And then last but not least, the most important thing that you're going to want to do is go back to your web browser, head over to youtube.com. What you're going to do is go to the Francois studio. And from there, you're going to click the subscribe button. If you want to stay informed on tools that will help you up your content game, make sure you leave a subscribe on this YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. If you have any questions, feel free to hop in my discord server, which is linked in the description below and uh, check out any of my other socials while you're there. Thank you again so much for watching this video, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.